Liberty, leaving message number two. I have some time to kill and I thought we could hang out, but I guess you must be busy. Get up. Why? Because that's my chair. Where, where's my money? I said get up. Happy? Not as long as you're here. Well, just give me my cash and I won't be. I don't have it. I told you, I want the first chunk of my million by the end of the day. Don't threaten me. Don't play games with me. Or else your partner's gonna find out you're trying to rip off her kid's trust fund. I'm not ripping off anybody. I borrowed some cash, that's all. Yeah, I'm sure that's how they're all gonna see it, right? Because you're such a trustworthy guy. You wanna know what you can trust? You ever go near my son again? I'll kill you. Just give me my cash and nothing's gonna happen. You come within 50 feet of him ever again. And I swear to you, there won't be anywhere on this earth where you can hide. Now get out. I can't. I gotta fix the light. <laughs> then do it. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling back. Yeah, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, tied up. Are you free now? I thought you had a doctor's appointment. I have some time to hang out. You want to meet up? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Where? Okay. I'm on my way. Can you believe that screwdriver jockey is blackmailing me? I mean, does he really think he can get away with that? Okay, I know. I should have been more careful. Don't look at me like this is my problem and not yours. You're on the hook for just as much as me, pal. You're the one that wrote the checks that I signed out of Parker's trust. You're the one cooking up the fake books. So if I go down, you're gonna be sharing my cell. What fake books? The ones for Carly, so she'll stop asking me questions. When I talked to you on the phone, I told you that Carly wanted to see the books, so we had to have a clean set of records, and you said you'd take care of it, those books? I lost my old cell phone. When? Right after that screwdriver jockey of yours spilled coffee all down the front of me. And then he stole it. I was talking to him. I thought I was talking to you. All right, all right. Let's find out everything we can about this punk. There has to be some way we can shut him down. Parker's trust fund isn't some bottomless pit, you know. Is there a problem with my trust fund? place well you're not so what are we doing here well I need a new ride <sighs> what do you think uh, I think this car is way out of my league <sighs> yeah well what if money wasn't a problem I mean the car is way beyond cool how's it look on me <laughs> all right kid one's over well I'm actually thinking about buying this car <clears throat> I'm supposed to believe you can afford it well, uh, does that convince you? Where did you get that much cash? Odd jobs. So why don't you do me a favor? See if you can find me what I want, and we're gonna finish checking this one out. <sighs> what? That money. Yeah, I told you I had it. You mind telling me how? Ellis, could you, uh, give us a minute? So what's the problem with my trust fund? No problem. Really? Because mm -hmm. I heard you just tell Ellis that it's not a bottomless pit. Yeah, which is what I want him to go tell the bank, because they seem to think they can keep charging us ridiculous fees for doing nothing. So that's what you guys were just talking about? That's it. Bank fees? Mm -hmm. That's all. Because you told me that I could take out money whenever I wanted to for liberty. Yes, I know. And that's why Ellis and I are setting up a whole new account so that there will be cash available and we don't get tied up in red tape. Good, because I just want the money to be available. And it will be, whenever you need it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. is, is that why you came here? Well, I was gonna tell you that they were giving me a hard time, but it seems that you have that taken care of, so. 
I think I do too. So tell me how you can afford a car like this on a handyman salary. Well, I've been saving for years. Get in. Me? Yeah, see how you like it. <sighs> so, <sighs> what do you think? It's amazing. Yeah, it'd be really cool with the top down, hot summer day, sun shining, open road. Yeah. Plus, you don't got to worry about the wind messing up your hair. <laughs> Good point. It's just nice to see you smile. You're the first person besides me who's willing to joke about it. Yeah, well, crying about stuff doesn't make it go away. No, it does not. Oh, God, I got to go. Uh, my chemo appointment. Oh, sure thing. You mind if we take this one for a test drive? Now? Any reason we can't go to your treatment and style? None at all. <laughs> Where have you been? You're late. Just a couple of minutes. It doesn't matter. I want you to know how important this is. And I'm here. What's your problem? I'm sorry. It's, it's been... Never mind. No, I, I, just, I just want you to get in there. I'm going. What's this guy doing here? He gave me a ride. Well, I thought you wanted to come by yourself. I changed my mind. Why didn't you call me? I'm supposed to check with you on everything I do? No, I, I, I just mean that you... What? Forget it. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, I better get the car back to the dealer before they say that I stole it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you brought my daughter here in a stolen car? No, Mom, it was a <laughs> test drive. I don't care what it was. My daughter is not well, and she does not need to be in any trouble. Would you relax, please? I'll talk to you later. wrong with you? How could you show up late for your appointment? I was having some fun, and now I'm here. I don't see why you have a problem. The problem is you lied to me. You told me you were going to be here with Parker, and you show up with that guy? You...